the Raptors are inching towards something here, and it will change the organization and how people view the sport generally in this country, you're, and it's severe. You're waiting for what this built. I wouldn't be surprised if this already built the moment that you're waiting for. Really? This is the greatest moment in franchise history. With all due respect to the World Juniors in Egypt or the 1983 World University Games in Edmonton when a Canadian team led by Jay Triano knocked off Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, and the United States of America. It was before this game. Those are the moments in Canadian basketball history along with a dunk competition. And that moment was, I mean, all you needed to do was see pictures. Like, did you see the singular shots that spoke volumes about what this meant to not only the Raptors, but also the faces of fans and coaches alike? There were some, and we can rifle through them, they, a pitcher speaks a thousand words. Oh, yeah. Better than anything I can say. I mean, these are unbelievable captures of the moment. It's like, it's like it's like a, it's like a painting I would see in the Vatican like it's like some impre some impressionist art from back in the day look at the faces it is unbelievable the no sound is a nice touch as well Tim I've never sounded better <laughs> oh I hadn't seen this one you hadn't seen that one and they said he had no emotion, said Sixero. They said he was a robot. They said he was a Terminator. Kawhi at the end. Uh, there's a couple things that I need to point out in a few of those well, It seemed pictures. like there was a lot going on in those photos, right? Uh, the Mark Blinch photo. Can we get that one up one more time? The one where Kawhi has the hand extended. And maybe we could put it over in the big monitor so I can point out a couple things along the way. This photo, Sixero. Oh, you're, you you're walking to the big monitor. Oh, I'm walking to the big monitor. All right. All right. Walk me through it. This right here is Coach Adrian Griffin. All right, let's go tight on that, right. please. Vinny, if you could get in on him. There. <laughs> wow, that, that is some serious eyes bulging out of the head. He is glued <laughs> to the moment. Is that Adrian Griffin or Adam Gase? <laughs> I can't that, tell. Yeah, I, that's a great reference that I'm sure hardcore football fans Coach will of the get. Jets, he is crazy. Right, I got one more. And this, I'm only going to point this out because this is the coolness factor that only a guy who coached Real Madrid could possibly bring to the table. Sergio Scariolo. Buddy, I coached right down here. Scariolo. Right, right here. That's the guy right here. All right. Let's move in here. Oh. <laughs> Buddy, I coached in Bologna. I coached in Madrid. Moscow. You think this is going to bother me? You think I'm phased by this moment? Cool as a cucumber, 6 0. That's the face of, hey, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be something else. <laughs> it's going to be something gonna, else, this thing that's going to happen. You think that ball is going to go in? She's going to go in. She's going to bounce. And she's going to go in. Tim, it, uh, as, you, as you were doing that, first off, great references there, because there, there's a ton going on in this specific photo. Oh, did you get more? I kind of, guys, do you want me to walk to that or do you just want to blow up? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to walk. You're going to go to the big board? With some music. I got video. Damn it. Kenny Smith coming up later in the show. <laughs> Damn it, McCall. All right, so, all right, so Joel, Joel Embiid was defending Kawhi. Yes. As we know. Yeah. So Joel Embiid now is off balance. My concern here are for the Raptors employees who take care of the court when a player falls down. You go out there, you wipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this young lady, guys, we can zoom in, zoom in on her. She's not only trying to see what happens, she's trying to make sure 7-foot, 250-pound Joel Embiid does not fall on her. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So there is, there is some serious multitasking from this Raptors employee during this shocking, shocking moment. Now, a lot of people wanted last night at Scotiabank to be loud, Timmy, right? Kyle, loud, yeah. Kyle Lowry said, I want this place to be loud and obnoxious, a.k.a. a dragon's den. Sorry? Jim Treliving was there <laughs> of Dragon's Den. Our guy. Our friend of the show. Shout yeah. out, Boston. Jim Treliving 
is in the front oh. row. Oh, he's in the zone. And you know, he, this man has seen some stuff, yeah, yeah. right? The For ball is in midair, and yeah. he's like, well, this will be slightly interesting to me. You know, he's a former police officer. Did you know That's that? right. You keep reminding me yeah, of that. He's a yes. former, yeah, he's seen it. So, Six they zero. literally, Joel Embiid, Joel Embiid couldn't take the dragon's den <laughs> last night. And I'm not going to mention Game of Thrones. I'm still a little messed up by what I saw after the fact, but whatever. Um, a pictures do tell a thousand. I'm not going to do a spoiler. I'm not going to no, bring I'm this just, up. I don't, I don't care personally. But so I just people, know there's so many people I who keep, do. I keep – my knee jerk when Tim gives me that look is that he cares. He keeps reminding me, guys, I don't care. I don't give a bleep. <laughs> I don't care about Game yeah. of Thrones. You can talk about whatever and a horse and whatever. Just talk about whatever you want. Forget the spoiler alert. This is all just proof that the Sid curse is real. And I never should have had any doubt whatsoever – as that ball lingered in and around the cylinder, four bounces, the quadruple doink quadruple. heard round the world. I should have never doubted that the Sid Sixero curse, for those who didn't see it, would come up big. The winner of Game 7, Sunday night. No, don't do it. Will be Philadelphia. God. He just took Philly! <laughs> After the weekend was done, I still had people coming up to me who had no idea what the hell happened there. But for those who don't get the show, Sixero's picks have been so awful, so historically bad, so ridiculous at points this right, year. We, we get it. We, we, you made your point. That Sixero went reverse curse on the Philadelphia 76ers. And the fans of the Raptors were so excited about reverse cursing Sixero that they stormed our studio. And we never should have had any doubt whatsoever. In fact, I think Drake watched the show. I can't confirm this. You think Drake watched Friday's show? But I show. wonder if Drake didn't watch your reverse curse on Friday's edition of Tim and Sid and then show up watching with his friends... Posting on Instagram while wearing a pair of Philadelphia 76ers shorts. He didn't do that. Drake went reverse curse as well. And be careful because there might actually be some curses. Oh, wow. But he was wearing 76ers shorts while posting this at Champagne Poppy. I would Did Drake, in fact, see the show on Friday? Look, I don't want to start accusing Drake of teething things. That's gotten people in trouble online before. Mm-hmm. But I'll say this, Drake, that was our thing, man. That was this show's thing. Mm -hmm. We knew what we were doing. This is a very sensitive power. We approached it carefully. We just didn't throw it out on social media for clicks, although we did. <laughs> yes. In the middle of that sentence, we I realized we did. Yeah, we completely did. The point did, yeah. is this. Yeah, without a doubt, we did. Without Drizzy, much context. We knew what we were doing. Do not wield that power willy-nilly. <laughs> All right? All right. And stop teething our stuff. Right. One dance. That was mine.